Hi everybody, and here with you land, or Cuckoo Kangaroo. My name's Brian. And I'm Neil. And we're super excited to be here today. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna play this game with monsters and, and a die and colors. Should we talk about our, like why we chose our pieces? Yeah, let, let's go ahead, I'll start. Yeah. Um, I picked uh, this guy. His uh, name is Christopher. And um, as you can see, he has four eyeballs, and I picked him because, um, you know, when I was a little kid, I had glasses, and I got called four eyes all the time. So, you know, I really feel what this guy's going through with four eyes, you know? Yeah, this is Jessica, and she's pterodactyl. All right, now, should we start the game? Yeah, totally. Let's, uh... And we're drawing a picture. I'm gonna start... Would you? I kinda want my colored crayons. New crayons? Here's crayons. Oh, for real. I want colored crayons. That is a good outline, though. The question is, Brian, what is your favorite song to play live? I'm answering it? Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm oh, gonna question. Yeah, we minister the question to the other person. Ooh. What's your favorite song? I'm gonna straight up say uh, a song we have called What's That You Say. What's That You Say. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's mind. a good song. It's a good song with lots of dance moves. So. Keeps me busy. One, yeah. I'm going red with Jessica, my pterodactyl. I'm really excited about this. Neil, yeah. have you ever done something crazy to get someone's attention? Oh my gosh. What have I done that's crazy? Well, okay. One time during, um, one time during, uh, I was on the swim team in high school, and um, uh, my friend wanted to, um, wanted to shave my buttocks. So, um, what are you doing? Well, it's a good story because in swimming you shave down at the end of the season until like for your final race. It's like you want to go as fast as you can, so everyone's shaving their legs, shaving your whole body. And my friend um, wanted to shave my buttocks, so I, I let him. And then um, um, to get everyone's attention to show how motivated we were, we shaved each other's rear ends, and then we proceeded to get everyone sat down and then moon them all to say. Look, check this out. We did this. You guys got to do this too. As like a sign of solidarity. So we got everyone's attention. That <laughs> oh, that's the first thing I thought of. That was gross. Okay. Oh, Brian. What's the biggest surprise you learned from being on tour? What's the thing that surprised you the most? Like, whoa, I didn't know that. I didn't know that that's how things go. I would say the mer like this is like being real. Yeah, like being real. Yeah, oh, well, this is this is so real. Maybe like look at them. Yeah, this is look at the world. No, this is like like this is like business stuff. Like I didn't know like all the different like merch cuts they take at the venue. Like how much a venue or promoter takes. Like you sell a shirt and then at the end of the night they take like twenty percent of that. Right. It's sometimes like twelve percent, and it's like, like twelve percent of t-shirts. And then the craziest thing is that some lady like wanted to like take a percentage of like our mustaches on a stick. Yeah, we saw a mustache Which, on a so on stick. You like this, our new merchandising. You'd be, you'd be, you'd love the combos that you could do. Our mustaches oh. on a stick are, are a $2. hot, hot item. And, okay. Uh, um, usually it's just like shirts and stuff. When I was like, you know, we sell mustaches on a stick. We're gonna take some of your money. Okay, Neil, this yeah. is gonna be good for you. Yeah. Cause I feel like you do it all the time. Oh. What do you worry See, about the most when on tour? I don't know. I worry about, wait, you just have something in mind that you think I'm going to say? No, you just like, oh. kind of like do it all the time. Okay. The thing I worry about the most is, like, some in the middle of, we were on our set off an iPod or a computer, like with tracks behind us, and I often worry about something awful happening to the technology, like something just like the computer shutting down or something falling off. One time we played a show in Wisconsin, and we sat our computer, which is playing all our songs. We sat like two microphones otherwise. Okay. All our songs on this computer. And we didn't think anything of it. We sat it on a sub, like a subwoofer. And we had no idea it was gonna be so loud. The, the music, the, the venue pumped up the jam so loud. And the, the bass, I've never seen the it. low end, the low end from the sub made the, the sub rattle. It was shaking and, and we didn't even realize it. And then in the middle of our song, music stopped and it was because the computer, the sub had shook so much that the computer had fallen off. And luckily there was no harm done to Brian's poor computer. But it messed it up. It, it, wait, really? Yeah, I had to get like a new facing. 
Oh yeah, so he did get a little injured and we just had to start the song over. So, so I'm always worried that like something in the last set's gonna happen because it literally brings our entire show to a screeching halt. And it's just, it, it's awful, it's really tough. So I was worried. But like one I time, but we've, gotten, but we've gotten better at that because like, remember one time when we used to put our iPod up front and we kicked it out? Yeah, our iPod used to be up in the monitors in the front of the stage. And then we kicked it out one time during it's during, during Red Rover, during Red Rover, like when we like would make our people, oh, I see we're gonna make that. That's gonna be awesome. I should have made that. My guy's like a, got a utility belt. Okay, my roll or your roll? Your roll. My roll. <laughs> 